51 Bel Air. Uh, there's the... And we are live. The old hot wire. Oh. What a nice girl. You ready to go for a drive? Good girl. Move over. by the oil pressure. Oh, that's hot too, warmed up. Looks like 16 PSI hot at idle. That's fantastic. That's about 15 more than the Fraser. Look at that, right on. Both of these are capillary tubes and they both still work. That is awesome, look, we put 1.3 miles on today. It's probably enough. Put two miles on, you die of carbon monoxide poisoning. Hey, thanks for checking out our episode on this uh, sweet Bel Air. We had a lot of fun putting this together and uh, it's actually a pretty decent car and could easily be put back on the road if we spent a little more time on it. The engine is really in good shape and would very likely be plenty reliable enough to drive every day if a guy decided to put it together. Of course, the car would need a lot more work for actually getting plated, but none of it is difficult. And partially, these shafts are readily available and not even expensive for the same
51 Chevy Frankers. Pretty sweet, eh? Just out uh, road testing the new Cold War motors hat, and uh, I have to say, it's, uh, it's very good at being a hat. It's very warm. So, uh, total success story, I would say. Hey, Frankers, are you warm too? The Cold War motors Bermuda shorts are not going to happen, I guess, as it turns out. Hey, the Cold War Motors mugs are finally here, so we're pretty excited about that. Uh, take it to the office, that's where mine is. Coffee not included. It looks like the shirts have arrived. Due to overwhelming demand, we are going to offer the same old shit Cold War Motors t-shirt if you're the person that asked for the same old shit shirt, please buy a hundred of them in various sizes. Thank you. Oh, that's better. So, uh, thanks again. Please check them out. And, uh, and thanks for watching all this stuff and for putting up with this bullshit for 10 years now, just about 8, 9, 10, I don't know. And I hope you liked that last one. I had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I'm not saying every video is going to be that because obviously it's not. But uh, I would like to do the odd little, you know, interesting kind of aside. Hey. Uh, some of you were kind enough to suggest that we should uh, make a uh, Patreon page so that uh, people can contribute to help keep our, our show here going. So I decided after uh, much, much thinking about it that I'm going to do that. The reason that I decided to do it was not so that I could get uh, people to buy my car parts and materials. I like keeping the budget to zero on the cars because it makes it a challenge. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the theme of the thing. So we're not going to change that. Um, I guess the thing is, some people really wanted to see a little more uh, detail on the actual uh, work on the cars. And because the editing takes so much time, I usually have to, uh, I usually have to omit that. A lot of the work just simply can't get filmed or recorded or edited or published because it would just take too long and then the cars themselves don't get built. So if we had some way of offsetting the losses uh, heard, uh, then we could make a, a lot better, uh, better videos in more detail. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Please visit us there and check it out. And if there's any reason you felt compelled to uh, to help us out, it's obviously much appreciated. Uh, I would love to be able to keep doing this, but it's just not realistic at the current uh, return on the YouTube videos. And if I have to stuff them full of commercials, then the whole feel of it, I think, is lost. So. Nothing's going to change on YouTube. I just think that we will be, uh, the Patreon page will have something for people who wanted uh, a little more behind the scenes and maybe a little more detailed work. And uh, I think we'll even put some projects up on the Patreon page that, that will be uh, specific to that. Uh, thank you for listening. Please check it out and uh, maybe we'll go have some fun over there too. This is a regular. Ah. Same old shit.